I don't know how to begin this. Alright, I'll use this. Fuck it. Oh, I do not know how to begin this. Is this gonna work? No. There it is. Well, alright. Let me just fill you in. Nothing happened. You know what happened? I happened. Nothing but myself happened. No event happened. Okay, an event happened. But it wasn't an event, it was myself. It was myself. All The only event that was present to the naked eye was me. That's the only thing that was present to the naked eye. One thing that happened was myself. And all the action was in my head. And all of it took place a couple minutes ago. And I keep trying to... T it keeps sounding like I'm alluding to something interesting, but I'm not. I sat on the stairs. Okay, now first... First... I went to the mirror. After feeling like shit, past couple hours, or past couple days since I've been sick, but I don't blame this on sickness completely. I went to the mirror, because I looked at myself and I said, hey, I feel a bit better after seeing myself. I always realize, hey, when I'm walking around, I always feel like shit, and I look at myself, I realize I look better than I feel. Then I'm about to take my dog for a walk, and I looked at myself in the other mirror with better light, and I stared. I stood staring for 10 minutes straight, didn't move, just stared. Thoughts, self-abusing thoughts gone through my mind. All the horriblenesses, all the things I'm not going to fucking repeat because it's 9.56 p.m. January 29th, it's Thursday, I went to school today. I came back home at 10.30 because I felt like complete shit. Still haven't been to my new classes yet. I don't even know my new fucking classes because my guidance counselor was out of her fucking place every time I went there to try and get my schedule. Doesn't matter. Came home early. I drank coffee in the morning. I'm, uh, I drank coffee when I came home. That might have worn off and made me extra tired. I only slept for four hours last night. That might have contributed to my shittiness. But, putting that all aside, I feel like utter shit. So as I stood staring at myself for ten minutes, I sat on the steps of my stairs for another twenty minutes. And just stare at the and just stare at the and just stare at the stairs. <sighs> I did this just thinking about everything. Nothing good. Just thinking about how shitty I am, how useless I am. I wouldn't say serious to the point of action, but you know, of course, when you're thinking about how shitty you are, how useless you are, everything, and you have a mind like mine, what act, which acts this way in a certain way it does, you always have to, you know, contemplate death every now and then. And, uh, I'm not going to try and do it. If I don't have the fucking motivation to do anything else with myself, what motivation do I have to fucking die? That's a lot of work. Seriously. The way I feel now, the utter sadness I feel now, isn't something I could do to get myself to find somewhere to where I hang. No, I couldn't do that. It's too much fucking work. If I can do that, I have motivation to read I have motivation to do some homework well. I have motivation to watch a fucking... I need motivation to watch a fucking movie. I would have motivation to write in my story. I would have the motivation, maybe, to get a job, which I believe even me getting, I might... It might not even fucking matter. I might just hate it anyways. 
But yeah, don't be worried about me dying from myself. Of course, I may think about it quite a bit, play it out, play, um, you know, I, I of course, the only fantasy way would be me recording myself doing it. That, that's fitting. Uh, you know, having like a long speech, just angry and bitching at the world. It's one way. I'd of course be feeling something like this, but with more anger than uh, just empty sadness or empty energyless depression. I guess. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm 17, I feel like I'm in my hundreds, I feel like I'm, I've already experienced life, I've already lived it, I've already, I'm done, I feel like I'm done, with everything, I feel like it's all F, pointless, not worth the efforts, that to, um, I'm just, there's no good things for me to look to. There's no good things at all for me to look to. Well, I can look at myself and say, oh, I've crafted myself into this great intellect. No, that part's true, but if I'm unable to put that to use, then I am, in fact, useless. If I cannot communicate what I have in my head, if I cannot utilize it, then there is no, it doesn't matter if I have it. I'm willing to put it to use. I'm looking for an opportunity to put it to use. But if there's no opportunity, there's no place for me to put my will into. There's no motivation to go do that shit myself. And there's no desire to further do anything. Then what the fuck is left? I have... I can know the secrets to curing all the world's deepest and most horrible problems, and maybe I do know some of them. Maybe I can find some of them someday. Uh, but, uh, it won't matter if I don't put them to use. If I'm not given an opportunity to share them. If I don't have the motivation, I don't have the energy, I don't have the care, I don't have the fucking even feeling of supposed satisfaction from it, I wouldn't even be able to tell anybody I knew the fucking secrets to cure and all the world's problems. I couldn't tell anyone that mattered because I don't know anyone that matters enough to go up to them and tell them something like that. What, tell a classmate? They wouldn't give a shit. They'd just be like, yeah, okay. Oh, what are they? Or what are just some stupid fucking answer. It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter at all. And that's also why you shouldn't be scared of me dying sooner and by my own will. You shouldn't be scared of that. Because if I'm going under the assumption or the reason for my... Uh, my lack of anything, the reason why I'm just an empty husk of, like I said, energyless depression and emotion filled with all the intellect I like to brag about. The reason for why I am that is because I've somehow convinced myself that everything is meaningless. And I tell myself that every time something bad happens, oh, it's meaningless, doesn't matter, oh, uh, oh, that you didn't talk to that girl, it doesn't matter, life's meaningless, so oh, you didn't. Get a job. Things are meaningless. Life doesn't matter. That person doesn't like me. It's alright. They're nothing but just a illusion to my mind. It would also be meaningless. If I find meaninglessness in life, I would also find meaninglessness in death. In death. And if I'm not even willing to pursue a goal in life... Who the fuck thinks I'd be willing to pursue a goal to death? 
if I could do one, I could do the other, and if I could do the other, I'd choose the one which I believe would bring by more satisfaction. Of course, what is satisfaction if all is meaningless, right? Now, I've, while sitting at the stairs and while staring at myself, I have come to the conclusion that I'm probably like this because I have a, I'm a combination of sick, getting better sick, but it's nevertheless sick, and I've drank two coffees today, and those have run out long ago. I slept for only a couple hours, so I'm probably very tired. I'm so out of energy that either I cannot fend back the negative thoughts, and I cannot fend back the bad feelings with energy, or this is what happens. So I'm pretty sure it's the first one, because I have nothing to feel. I have nothing to feel good about. So I've done only what on a scale of emotions. There's the bad, there's the good. I don't have any good, so I have bad. I can maybe fake some good by getting drinking enough coffee to get enough energy to say, hey, bad, you know, you can get the fuck out for a bit, man. They'll still linger there, just, you know, a bit under the chin, pulling some strings from below. And then the coffee wears off, slowly comes up. They come back to their normal spot. And then the coffee goes away, and, you know, I just don't have any energy left, so they come up and... Whoosh, 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 whoosh. There's that. God, I don't even like how I look anymore. My face is getting f fat. My hair is crap. Uh, I look like I'm not even. I don't, I don't, I don't look right. I look like I. I I believe I see something that's not there in my face. I see myself, but my I don't myself isn't represented on my face. What's represented on my face is I don't see myself as what you see as an adult, as a person with a beard. I don't know what I see myself as. Physically speaking, if I was to walk up to someone who never met me. And they look at me, what do they think I am? An adult or a kid? Probably a kid. I don't look like a man at all. I look like I'm halfway there. I look like I'm in the middle of it, but it's not really. Do anything for me. I mean, to be honest, for the last six seven years I think since around six the beginning of sixth grade maybe even sooner I don't know probably not probably since the beginning of sixth grade around there I've been feeling horrible it's just a constant stream maybe a couple breaks in that stream during uh middle school, even less so during high school to the point where it's probably almost none. In the beginning of September, when I hit my hand and was crying and blah 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 blah. And I recorded that on the recorder. I was saying that this is the worst day of my life and this will be the worst this is my lowest point in my life, I mean. This will be the lowest point in my life. I will not be as bad as this again. And while I've never gone back to that yet, I've come close. I haven't gone back to that exact place. I haven't risen far enough to even say I'm even out of there. I, I'm not crying. Only difference, really. I mean, the rest is... I, that was many months ago. September, it's pretty much February now. September, November, October, December, it's been five months. Nothing has changed. Not a single fucking thing has changed. There's been no time in between then where I've felt good. It may have been a couple hours. But it doesn't mean I feel good. I may feel better. I feel good.
It's 10.09. I wanted to watch another episode of Survivor. I also want to read because I feel that is the only productive thing I can do with myself. I feel like reading is the only thing which makes me valuable, which makes me feel like I'm actually putting my time to good use. But I can't get myself to read because while I enjoy flipping the pages on the book, reading the book, I cannot enjoy the book. Also, I cannot fucking make myself allocate all that time. <sighs> Silence. I actually turned this camera on with the tension of just preventing some fabricated anger. I mean, all, all I have to hope for, for any form of change from this shit I am now, is anger. That's all I can hope for. That's, only, that's the most reasonable thing I can probably attain. Anger will give me motivation. My science teacher pissed me off with anger. He made me angry. He pissed me off. And I was suddenly brought back in. I mean, I didn't do any, I did, probably did worse on the midterm because I was angry while I was taking it. But it brought, it motivated me. I mean, I, I paced back and forth. I, I occupied my thoughts for a while. It focused me, though. It didn't achieve anything. It didn't do anything. It did nothing but have me bring it up here and say, oh, look what anger does to me. It makes me motivated. I mean, I get in an argument with my mom, and I want to, I can, I get my motivation right there. Ang she makes me angry, so I have to argue with her. Uh, the best of me, or the better parts of me come out, or parts of me come out when I am arguing, because I'm angry sometimes. I think the main reason why I am the way I am is because I haven't been able to put myself to use. One of the reasons I hate school the most is because I'm useless to my school. I cannot util utilize anything in my... S I go to school, the school is where you go to learn, right? So, in, a, in, in achieving that goal, going in there, my best to achieve that goal would be I have to be my best to learn the greatest. That's not going to do anything for me. I go to school once. I have to use what I learn later in life. I'm ready now to use what I have. I have so much to use and utilize and so many ways to fucking utilize it. That go into school and sit in there all fucking day just wasting away is killing me. And that's why, because I can't use what I have. The closest I come to using what's in my fucking head is when I argue, but it's pointless for all the fucking reasons in the arguments. In reading, I can read, feel like I'm gathering more information, you know, feel like I'm utilizing my time well, even though I barely, f I haven't fucking done it really that much this month. Not since Christmas vacation, really. I've been even going further downhill since Christmas vacation. I was doing actually better than I am now before Christmas vacation, even though I said I wasn't. I'm doing worse now. I was actually going out door to door looking for a job. I only tried doing that once. I felt like complete shit and got nothing done since then. January this year, unlike last year, this year January has been absolutely wasteful. I cannot think of a single thing I've done this fucking month that mattered at all to me. I, I can... There's no important thing that was done this month by me. 30 fucking days. Ugh, 30 fucking days. I've had 30 days. I've probably watched two movies. I've barely gotten any further in any of my books. No. The one I'm writing, I probably went from page 30 to page 50. Yeah, maybe I wrote 20 pages. Good. No, I'm just, I got nothing. All that stuff I just mentioned I could have achieved in maybe about five hours. Okay, 20 pages 
Give me seven hours, I can get 20 pages in easily. Easily. Maybe even, I can probably get 20 pages in definitely five hours. How many is that per hour? 20 pages? I mean, it just saves me one page an hour, which is not too good. Not good at all, actually. One page an hour? Jesus. Though it's a, no, not really. It's probably like a page and a half an hour. Maybe two pages an hour. But it depends on what, what I write about. 20 pages in five hours. That should be achievable. I mean, I can read. Well, it takes me tw it takes me an hour to read twenty pages, so writing twenty pages not gonna. Fuck. Never mind. Let's take all that back. Let's just go rough estimate: ten hours, twenty pages. And to read how far I have in Cicero, Invisible Man, and the hundred pages of War and Peace. Let's say uh, twenty four hours in total to t to take care of all that stuff. Twenty four hours. So out of thirty days. One full day, I've used to something I believe is productive. Other 29 were um, a little bit of games. Not too many games, actually, surprisingly. A little bit of games, maybe about a day of games, I don't know. The rest was uh, a good portion probably sleeping. <laughs> Definitely the past couple of days watching Survivor. Uh, just watching Netflix shows and shit. A couple movies, maybe. I mean, I can't even recall anything. Oh, school, yeah, fucking waste a lot of time in school, but... I don't even know how I spent the time. I mean, there's just, there's, I can't think of anything I've done for that long. I... <sighs> It sucks though. It sucks. I'm willing right now. If someone came up to me and gave me something, Brandon, if you build me a, if you build me, I don't know. If you cut down a tree, I'll pay you twenty dollars. Or if you put down a tree, I'll give you a job in my, in my uh, book writing factory, and you can write me books. I'll be like, fuck yeah, I'll cut down a tree. I mean, I'm willing to do stuff. I've been willing for years to fucking do shit. I've not gotten a single interview for a job. Not gotten any replies from colleges, even though I sent to two colleges and one hasn't returned my call when I returned their call. I didn't want to fucking go to them anyway, so I'm not gonna pursue that. So I have one college I'm waiting on, I don't get in that college. Well I'm already I've already accepted not getting into it. If it but if I accept too much I'll just feel like this, and I'll just be dead in a couple months in the homeless on the streets. How much am I willing to accept? How much am I willing to punish myself with? Those are the thoughts. Those are the internal struggles. There's one side of me which wants me to give in to the emotions and just sit around and take it all and just be like, fuck, it doesn't matter. I'll just... No one understands. I'll just sit or I'll just do it. I'll just do what I want. I just, fuck it. I'm not going to do this. It doesn't matter. Dude, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing now. So I'm, that side's winning. That side's winning by a lot. Other part that's saying. There's been times when you've de defeated that thing, and you felt good afterwards. You look back and you said, "What if I had that mentality when I did that? I wouldn't be able to do this." And you you know how much of a poison it is that thing, the fucking virus that's in your head. You know it, yet you always give in to it. You assume that just waiting around for something to happen is going to bring something that's going to happen. It's not. You can't just wait for yourself to be better one day. You're not going to be. You're going to be worse. And I tell myself this. I know it's true, but I can't make it affect me. I know it's true. Like I know life is truly meaningless. Yeah, that doesn't affect me. I still talk to you. If it was utterly meaningless, I'd be doing a lot less than I have been. So there's a wall between my thoughts in my head and me. So that's why I've separated the two. The thoughts in my head is the super intelligent Superman that is... The guy I need to be, the guy I am, but I'm unable to let loose 
and what I am right now, this emotional piece of shit, this bag of fucking uselessness, that is Brandon. When they call my name and when I see my name, just not bring anything good with it. Brandon Lang. Me. I am Brandon Lang. Right on my fucking wall right there it says Brandon Lang. That's me. I could blame my mom too if I wanted. I could say her attitude has just been crushing me as well. Her fucking. Uh, I can say that her attacks on me haven't helped my grandfather's rough handedness or whatever. It's, it's not helping me out. I, um, I need to get to sleep, I know that. I also want to watch an episode of Survivor and then wake up very tired tomorrow and go to school and another piece of shit. 10.30 though. I could have watched another episode if I didn't make this fucking video, which will matter someday because I want to believe it will. Like I believe I'm going to matter someday. I mean, honestly, if I don't die, even if I do, today will pass. These feelings will go away. It'll just be the past. I've recorded it. So. But as of right now, I mean, sure, I can, I can look. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be fine in the future. I, I have a certainty I'm going to be fine in the future. I'm going to look back on these videos and be like, oh, what a fucking loser. Why can't he just stick it out? Oh, he knows he was doing it. Why, why, why does he have to do that? Whatever. And I'm, but right now. What I am right now is the result of everything of my past. Now that that is an unfair thing to say because that assumes everything I have that leads up to I can't even argue well cuz I'm tired. I will say I'm tired, okay? I'll admit that I'm t I'll get that'll be my excuse. What I have right now, at this moment, or at these moments, or at these these time frames of a select position in time-space continuum between the fourth dimension and the third dimension and the pinpoint accuracy of what there is no location to where I am. All I where I am is relative to where you to choose to say I'm near. I mean, okay. I am in my chair. I'm in the chair in my house. I'm in a house in Connecticut. I'm in a house on my condo complex. My condo complex is on the street, Strawberry Hill. My Strawberry Hill is in the city of Stanford. Stanford is in Connecticut. Connecticut is in the eastern part of the United States. The eastern part of the United States in the United States. United States is, between, is on the continent North America. I almost said North Africa. North America is in the middle of the fucking ocean. Um, to the left of... Or, uh... I believe to the left of Russia. Well, I mean, if it's, it's a fucking sphere, so a sphere, so it could be left or right, wherever you want to go. To the left of the other two, seven, six continents, with fucking Greenland touching Canada. I'm on Earth, and that is all on Earth. Earth is orbiting the sun. Okay. Earth is the thing next to the moon, orbiting the sun, going in circles. The sun is what is surrounded by all these seven planets, or eight planets. These eight planets are what is relative to the other stars closest to us. Those other stars are relative to our galaxy. The galaxy is relative to the other galaxies. Other galaxies are relative to what? Other galaxies as well? I mean, we, we haven't... As far as I know, we don't have anything else to gauge ourselves to. But what I'm saying is there's no pinpoint... There's no, exist, there's no place where I exist. I exist only in relativity to something else. I am about two feet away from the camera. I am about in the time 1024 according to whatever fucking time that wants to be accorded to. Honestly, this 
if our society wasn't on the same page, I mean, if you didn't know, if you if you didn't just know, and, and you found this recording, and you were just a confused mess like I can be sometimes, and you and I tell you, right now it's 10:24 p.m. It's January 29th. I'm in my house in Stanford, Brandon Lang. Oh, all you have are the are just numbers. All you have is a location, and that means nothing if those don't mean anything to you. Now, I know how stupid that sounds, but what I'm saying is if those don't have the instant connection with you as it does, like you tell me it's 2.44 in New York when I'm in Beijing, I know, hey, it's light there, and you're probably, um, I know how to get to you. I know how to make my way myself to you. But if an alien says, <laughs> but if you can understand the alien, and they said, hey, I'm in the, I'm on a, I'm on, I don't have the creativity. Uh, hey, it's me, Alien. I'm sitting on my Alien couch, talking to my Alien webcam in Blooba Blooba Four on the on the super cluster of Orion's. I try to I try to not sound nerdy there on the super cluster. You know, I'm gonna sound nerdy. Okay, hi, I'm Alien, um, Gnal Nadnarb. <coughs> Never say your name backwards. Right. Hey, I'm Alien Gnal Nabnarb. I'm in the Orion Supercluster on Bezelbub 4. I'm sitting on my Quadruplubilix um, licking a martini. Uh, and it's right now currently 17 40 hundred ninety at 16.92 p.m. I'm located in Quadruple Senefinefinex. I'm eating in local, local homonoma, synephrine, syne inephrine. You'd be like, what the fuck does any of that shit mean? Why? Because you don't know. You don't know their thing. You couldn't find them. In less stupid terms, the alien says, hey, I'm on planet, I'm on planet Waka. Right now it's 4.44 p.m. And I'm sitting in my house. My house is located on Milk Street Avenue. Can you come find me? Oh, if you want, what, what, what country? Country of Wakatui. Come find me. I don't know how to find him. Though we said planet Jupiter, that gives me a pinpoint. I know Jupiter. I can. Hey, I. If I Google where it is relative to where we are, I can. I can go there. I won't make it, but I can try to go there. But if it just. If the name means, I, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So position means nothing. So if I look at myself as to where I am, and think of on a universal scale of my position, I am literally. I want to say nowhere, but there's something to hold me back from saying that. I, I want to say I'm literally nowhere, but I, I guess I am somewhere. But I'm just pinpointless. In an ever-expanding universe, I am not in a location. I am relative. That's all I am. For example, in, in a box, you have four corners of a box. You have a pebble on the bottom in the middle of the box. Four corners of a box, pebble on the bottom in the middle. You open the box, you say, oh, the pebble's there. It's four inches from the left side, four inches from the middle, four inches from the right, and four inches from the back. Four from the bottom, five from the bottom, five from the top, it's touching the bottom. You can pinpoint it, because you ha it's an enclosed area. But in a supposedly ever-expanding universe, since there will be no walls, there's no way to pinpoint a location, so therefore you are floating potentially in a, in, in a conscious-like state of nothing, really. You are floating in a... just in a boundaryless area, there's no position, just what's relative to you. So it's like being in the ocean with no islands nearby. You're floating in the ocean, so how do you gauge where you are? You use whatever is different in the ocean. Say, a, a log, you see a log in the distance, or a floating piece of draftwood in the distance. You're like, oh, I am 400 feet from the draftwood. So my position is 400 feet from there in the water, that direction. <laughs> You see an island, I am however far away from that island, but the further your um, parameters, the further you can see out, the, the wider your parameters are, the less pinpointable you are. 
you're two feet away from a log and the parameters are only, say, three feet, you're going to be easy to find. You're 400 feet from an island and the parameters are, say, the universe. Where are you going to be? I mean, you fall out of a helicopter over the Pacific Ocean. Don't expect an alien to come and save you. It has to be someone who knows of the ocean. So therefore, assuming that there is a lot of life in the universe, very little people, very little living things know of your position. Because very little living things, presumably... Uh, I, this has made me feel better. I'm trying to pretend I'm smart, but I'm too... I'm not good enough right now to be good at being smart. Which has been consistent since I've been sick. I need a rebirth. So I need to wake up one day feeling absolutely fucking wonderful. And that hasn't happened. Just feeling absolutely wonderful since when I was, um... I saw my gym membership and it was like the first week after school ended. Might have been freshman year or maybe even... I think it was freshman year. <laughs> Definitely freshman year, I think. And then I... Uh, no, I think I was, Maybe it was sophomore year, but the... Uh, No, it was it was the end of freshman year. That I woke up, I felt great. I went to the gym. I just felt like, hey, I'm gonna get shit rolling, and I haven't felt that way since, from what I remember. 